So we're out driving the roads of Appalachia. If you remember on one of our previous videos, we did a JB Weld fix on one of the cars and the crank. Uh, now that we're way out here in the middle of nowhere in the beautiful nature, what we found is that the crank wobbles ever so slightly, and it's just enough to hit the dreaded crank sensor on the MB Miata. Freak out the Mega Squirt and make it end up killing the car because it doesn't sense the trigger. So we're going to pull this apart and see if we can't gap it a little bit better just so it's uh, not doing that. We have the fan shroud off, we've taken the intercooler pipe off, and then we've taken the radiator fan itself off. That gives us lots of access to get down to the sensor, and we're going to double credit card it instead of single credit card and see if that works. Tell us how thick it is. Is it real thick? Maybe we should go three, just triple team this sensor. What do you guys think? The, the Super 8 door card and one of the other cards. We'll, we'll go Speedway yeah. membership card. Yeah. Not all are created equal. Look at that Super 8 card. It is thick. Yeah. I think we'll do the big dude and small dude. Hold them in place and then if you could just... Where's the like, flashlight? Uh, on the ground behind you. Okay. You want me to snug it? Yeah, 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 just have you snug it. I, I couldn't get both hands in there to snug it. I can one hand snug it, I just couldn't. So try to it. snug that down a little bit. Snug. Looks like a good gap. I mean, I don't know. Can I see the gap in there, bro? Can you see that? Did we just get lucky that the nipple was lined up? Yeah. I even check oh, that. yeah. We just got lucky that that lined up, I think. It's a good gap. The nipple's in the right spot. Touch it. Hell yeah. Y'all want to hear something cool? Your car starting? Yes. <laughs> start the car. We use the big card and the small card and that's just too much for her. So instead we're gonna go with the medium card and the small card. Is it gonna work? Uh, I'm feeling warmer than I did 30 minutes ago. Warmer about the car or just from the sun? All right let's go again. Okay, so what's happened here is we've gotten one tooth to be too far away and the other one to be just close enough to pick up on the sensor. So we're going to go a little tighter on the gas. One day this thing is going to run perfect. That's what every car gas says There's about seven. their project car that's broke all the time. Next summer. Also what every car gas says about their project car that's broke all the time. Yeah. It's going to start like the fifth time is, yeah. fifth time's a charm. Why does all this broke stuff in a parking lot look so familiar? It's like every road trip, somebody breaks. Will it work? So here's our sensor. Talked about the gap. You can see that it was gapped slightly too close. And what happens is if some of the teeth are gapped correctly, whereas the other teeth, uh, they wobble over and they hit it. So now we're gonna button it all up and we're gonna go for a drive and see if this works correctly or not. Yet another exciting part of 996 turbo ownership. We can add to the list of stupid parts to fail that should never have failed. 
Yesterday, we were washing cars and spraying it off. It went to start it right afterwards. I heard a click and the starter has not worked since. This car has 73,000 miles on it. Lord knows I'm not getting a starter for a 996 Turbo in the middle of Appalachia. All weekend, I've been having the guys help by push starting the car. That seems to be getting by. Yep. Yeah. Alright, go. Go, 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 go. Oh yeah, the whole trip. What do you say? Love German electronics. We just parked, we're gonna go look at a waterfall. There's lots and lots of waterfalls when you get in the Appalachians. If you get lost, stay calm. Try to remember how you got to your present location. I'm reasonably certain if you remember how you got there, you're not actually lost. I, I was told on the drive here, it was like a half mile top. I don't know what the falls names are still, but 2.6 miles, I think I got lied to. If there's ever a time to go on a trip in the Appalachians, it's got to be during the fall when all the leaves are here. Every time we're on a sports car trip and we go looking for a waterfall, it's really, really hard to not just like keep humming that TLC song in my head. So I've turned around, forgot that two and a half miles is a uh, five miles round trip. Turns out TLC was right. You should probably not go chasing waterfalls because they're really far away from the parking lots. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're good. Go for it. I am, I'm checking my oil, one second. It's got a little dash to hit Six seconds left. I'm checking my oil from inside the car. Oh my God, is it coming with a glass of champagne also? Do you not have a dipstick at all? No dipstick. You get a dipstick on the GT2 and GT3. On the turbo models and all the normal models, you get an electronic sensor and a readout on your dash. No dipstick in a 130K car. Oh God. Well this is how I roll. People always give me shit for keeping my car full, but I got my cooler here. Full of Cokes and Waters for everybody. If you need it, I got it. Trunk's full of a bunch of random shit, but if you need it, I got it. Like Brian wanted to sham out today, and I had it, so it works. Virginia Coal Heritage Trail is what this is called.
stay tuned to our videos. We're gonna be putting a built motor in this uh, supercharged Miata here. We try to be really fun to watch. Got a built bottom end already ready to go. Just gotta take it out, throw it in. Hey, big leaves. Look how big these things are. And the gore's full. Another one? Uh, the other Another one. one? You go ahead and turn the GoPro 7 on. Another one? In there. That one's running. Another one? That was like what, 10 what I was thinking about talking about was whenever we end up being behind.